Hopefully I don't screw this up. Okay. Tay, first off, I told you so. <laughs> I've told you for the past five years we would be right here. <laughs> And then <laughs> on December 10th, 2017, once again, we sat in your avalanche and I told you I loved you. That was the day I knew you were my forever. Yes, I was still a little nervous because your mom still referred to me as the a-hole in the green shoes. <laughs> but thankfully, we persevered through it. Tay, you have been my rock through everything. Countless times you have comforted me, even without a word. Your presence, your hugs, always brought a smile to my face. Tater, you are my best friend and always will be. I promise no matter what, I'll always be here for you. I promise to be the one to make you laugh, and smile even though you hate my crude jokes. <laughs> and all jokes aside, I promise to push you to be the best version of yourself because I know you'll do the exact same for me. I love you, Tater. And I'll be honest, one of our favorite ar artists says, my mother told me the truth, find someone who grows flowers in the darkest parts of you. And I did just that. I love you, baby, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Amos, I can't believe we are finally standing here today about to start this new chapter of our lives. <laughs> Six years ago, I started to pray the same prayer every single night. God, please send someone into my life to prove that you are real and that you have listened to my prayers. After saying this prayer for months, God decided to have a sense of humor and send the preacher son in. <laughs> <laughs> but little did I know this person would help me grow in my faith, show me what true unconditional love looks like, and ended up being the person I get to marry today. <laughs> but as I stand in front of you today, I can say choosing you is the easiest thing I will ever do. I will always choose you on the easy days. I will choose you on the hard days. 
I'll choose you during the stressful weeks and lazy Sundays. And once the honeymoon phase is long gone and I would rather you play golf than be at home, <laughs> I promise to still choose you just as you have always chosen me. So as I stand in front of you today, I want to make the biggest pinky promises yet. I promise to keep laughter in our home and not take life too seriously. I promise to keep Christ at the center of our relationship and help build our family on faith. I promise to listen to all your bird facts, no matter how boring they can be, and laugh at some of your bad jokes. <laughs> Although I can't promise to take away the hardships life will give you, I promise you will never have to go through them alone. But most of all, I pinky promise to love you more today than I did yesterday, to love you more tomorrow than I did today, and to love you more with each day to come. Thank you for the person for being the person I get to experience life with. I love you. Face I've never seen, her body close to me, and suddenly there's